Hi, I'm Lisa Campbell Ernst and I'm coming to you from the Nelson Atkins Museum of Art. And today I'm going to be reading a book called The Gingerbread Girl. It is a book that I both wrote and illustrated. The book begins by saying that you might have heard the story, the very sad story, of the gingerbread boy. He ran away from the lonely old woman who baked him, as well as many other very hungry characters. His short life was ended in one greedy gulp by a devious fox that lied and pretended to help him cross a river. But this is the story of his younger, wiser sister. Well, a full year had passed since the gingerbread boy had been eaten by the fox. And the man and the woman were lonelier than ever. And the man had an idea. He said, hey, I think we should bake another cookie. But the woman said, no, no, what if the same thing happened? I couldn't bear the pain. The man has another brilliant idea. He says, hey, let's make it a girl this time. And let's cover her with candy because surely a sweet little girl would never try to run away. So sure enough, that's what they do. They mix up the dough, they roll it out, and they cut it out in the shape of a girl. And they cover it with all kinds of candy. And she's just covered, and even better, they make her this beautiful red wig using red licorice whips. Well, they put her in the oven, and as she bakes, the man and the woman begin to talk about what happened to the gingerbread boy. And they say, oh, he never, ever should have run away. He never should have trusted that fox. And as the gingerbread girl was baking, and her mind began to wake up, she heard what they said, and she thought to herself, well, that is not going to happen to me. When the timer went off and it was time to take the gingerbread girl out, the man and the woman crept to the stove, to the oven, and they opened the door just a crack to look. And bam, out jumped the gingerbread girl. And they said, no, no, don't run away, not this again. They said, stop, please stop. But she didn't stop. She said to herself, here we go. And then she sang this song. She sang, I'll run and I'll run with a leap and a twirl. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread girl. Well, she ran down the path and she passed some farmers. And oh, that scent of freshly baked gingerbread was all in the air. And it made the, the farmers very hungry. And they said, stop come back, because they wanted a treat, of course. And she sang, hey, farmers, don't bother. Like my brother, I'm fast run all you want, but I've learned from his past. And then she sang, I'll run and I'll run with a leap and a twirl. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread girl. Next, she came to a pig, and of course that pig really wanted a bite of gingerbread cookie. But she jumped right over him and she sang, I can leap past Piggy like I leap past the others. This story will not end like that of my brothers. Mm -hmm. And then of course she sings, I'll run and I'll run with a leap and a twirl. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread girl. On down the path, she came upon an artist. And the artist said, oh, look at this beautiful masterpiece. I must have it. And he reached forward to try to grab the gingerbread girl, but she was way too fast. And she said, oh, I can outrun this artist like I outran the pig. I am one smart cookie, despite this wild wig. And then she said, I'll run and I'll run with a leap and a twirl. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread girl. Further along, the gingerbread girl passed a cow with her calf who mooed happily, Mama, I want a cookie to go with my milk. And so the mother cow tried to catch the gingerbread girl, but oh no, she was way too fast. And she said, oh, Chase, if you want, I am faster than you, although you have four feet and I have only two. And then she sang, I'll run and I'll run with a leap and a twirl. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread girl. Then 
a dog walker came along with three yappy, yappy dogs. And the gingerbread girl looked at them and thought, you're, there's no way you're going to catch me, guys. And she sang, you're joining the chase? Ah, oh, the more the merrier. But no one can stop me, not hound, not terrier. And then she sang, I'll run and I'll run with a leap and a twirl. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread girl. Now the path ran straight towards a school. And it was recess time and the children, the students were all outside. And when they saw the gingerbread girl, they started shouting, Cookie! And the gingerbread girl said, oh, I know that it's snack time and you want a sweet. Come follow me and you'll soon have a treat. And then she sang, I'll run and I'll run with a leap and a twirl. Oh, you can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread girl. But ho, 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 look what happened next. Finally, the gingerbread girl came to the same river her brother had tried to cross. Who should be waiting for her but that same devious fox? He looked down at her and he said, Oh, hello, my pretty. I was a friend of your brother's. I don't think so. He said, mm, It looks like you need a ride across the river. Well, just jump onto my tail and I'll carry you across. The gingerbread girl looked up and said, do I have your promise for a safe ride to shore? You won't drop me or eat me? That's all I implore. He looked down at her again and he said, I promise my sweet little tidbit. And the gingerbread girl gingerly climbed onto the fox's tail. I'm feeling a little nervous here. The instant the gingerbread girl climbed on the fox, he dove into the water ready for a fabulous feast. Oh, the water is so deep, move to my back, he insisted, thinking this cute cookie was even dumber than his, her brother. Anyone could tell by looking at her that she was an airhead. The gingerbread girl did what she was told. Oh, that's a good little girl, the fox said with a snicker. Oh my, the water is deeper. You should move to my head. No sooner than he had, he had spoken those words, but the gingerbread girl leaped off his head, pulling off a strand of that leathery licorice hair. And with the expertise of a ranch hand, she triple looped it around the fox's snout, tied it off with a half hitched knot and said, you're right, she whispered in the fox's ear. I am good. The fox snarled and struggled and strained, thrashing about, but the gingerbread girl hung on, turning him back toward the crowd. Riding the fox like a bucking bronco, the gingerbread girl whizzed past, singing, he'll run and he'll run with a leap and a twirl. Come follow me. I'm the gingerbread girl. She led them back all the way to the lonely old woman and the lonely old man's house. The gingerbread girl rode into the kitchen, secured the fox, and jumped onto the table. And she measured and mixed with a leap and a twirl, singing, I'll make you some more. I'm the gingerbread girl. The old woman and man quickly joined to, in to help, having a hungry, happy household to feed. From that moment on, of course, they were never lonely again. And what became of the fox? Well. The gingerbread girl was able to eventually teach him some manners using gingerbread crumbs as treats. And most days, you could see them riding across the countryside and hear a small voice drifting in the breeze singing, we'll run and we'll run with a leap and a twirl. I outfox the fox. I'm the gingerbread girl. The end. I hope you all enjoy reading out loud to one another whatever type of book you find is your favorite and we hope you come and visit us at the museum soon take care